Hey, it's Jeff Canada with this week's question of the week. This one is sent in by at Improbable J on Twitter, and he writes, How much does the question of lead skew matter now that we're years into the PS3 and Xbox 360? It's a good question because obviously early on in those console cycles, the lead skew, meaning the, the console that the actual game is designed on and then ported over to the other one, uh, mattered a lot because these are different architectures and different kinds of systems. And so when you design for one, you can kind of find the strengths of that and then you don't really exploit the strengths of the other system when you port it over because it's been designed for the first. I don't think it matters so much anymore, at least I haven't really seen much difference uh, in recent multi-platform titles um, as opposed to some of those early titles where you would see a big difference. I think where this does make a big difference is whether it's lead skew on a console or on the PC. And of course a lot of people are up in arms about, for example, Portal 2, we talked about that I think last week or the week before, about how a lot of the PC crowd was very upset that the uh, game seems consoleified. Uh, of course even going farther back. Deus Ex 2 uh, had that same problem, and I think that, you know, interface and controller versus keyboard mouse kinds of situations have more of an impact on the end user, on the player, than the kind of minor graphical improvements you see. You know, I remember uh, Burnout Paradise, I think, was one of the big games that people were saying, oh, wow, it's lead skew on a PS3 and you can really tell the difference. I don't find that so much anymore. It's more in these design decisions, these overall des design decisions as to whether it's a more of a controller-based input or a PC uh, keyboard-based input. One of the games that's a great example of that recently was uh, DCU Online, where uh, even on the PC, where, where I played that MMO, I tended to play it on a controller. I, I liked the experience of playing it with a controller, but it was clearly made with a console interface in mind. So I think it's more of the PC console debate rather than PS3, Xbox 360. But it'll be interesting to see moving forward what Nintendo's new console uh, brings to the table. We'll find that out at E3. And uh, if that's going to throw another monkey wrench into the equation, if there's going to be cross-platform portability between that and these uh, the 360 and the, and the PS3, or if that's going to push things forward and it'll be a, a weird half-step between next consoles. A lot of questions. Send in yours, and maybe we'll talk about it next week. <laughs>